tua nota si cala qui Ogna brugata che ti usa the jewel of the Mediterranean. More than four million tourists come to Corsica every year for its beaches, mountains and wild scenery. But along with the picture postcards, another image is emerging. That of the murder capital of Europe. 13 shootings since January, more than 100 in the last five years. Assassinations, gang murders, revenge killings. Per capita, Corsica is as murderous as Haiti. In April, the president of the island's national park was shot dead here in broad daylight. It was a drive-by shooting similar to other execution-style hits that have killed Corsica's top lawyer and the head of its Chamber of Commerce. None of their killers have been convicted, and statistics suggest that they never will. When loved ones are murdered or businesses burnt down, Corsicans rarely speak up, bound by fear and a lack of faith in the police. The Cicaldi's construction company was attacked in March. Their warehouse and machinery worth $2 million went up in flames because they refused to pay off a local gang. Bravely they spoke out, but it's come with consequences. I'm afraid for my husband's life. I know this is not over. We have to wait for justice to do its work. But it could go on. After destroying our work tools, what happens next? Will they attack us? The root of Corsica's problems lies in the land. For decades, a violent nationalist movement preoccupied the French government, allowing gangs, guns and greed to go unchecked. People are into real estate speculation, particularly on the coastline. And the cause of violence in Corsica is generally the same. Cash, cash and more cash. Singing out against the violence is musician Jean-François Bernardini. There is a criminality which is growing here because, because there is beauty, because there is speculation, because there is money. And uh, this changes a, a lot of things. You know, here the beauty is like uh, the Saudi petrol. So far, the gangs have not touched the tourists, the island's main income. And to ensure they never do, the French government has promised to finally bring criminals to justice. But it will be a steep mountain to climb. Charlie Angela, Al Jazeera, Corsica.